So here he is, Darren the Damage Elkins. Who can forget the biggest moment of his UFC career when he handed Mursad Bektik his first career loss. Elkins was down on the scorecards and somehow rallied for the biggest win of his mixed martial arts career. This is a guy who's been counted out before. Count him out at your own peril. Darren Elkins remains a featherweight contender and a guy who can vault into contention if he can get this one here tonight, Joe. This fighter is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. If he can get this fight to the ground, he will have an advantage there over almost everyone in the world. So here he is, the 2008 Olympic gold medalist in freestyle wrestling, Henry Cejudo, still a developing fighter in a lot of respects. We've seen him make great strides when it comes to his hands since moving his training camp to Northern California. It's been a boxing heavy attack in the UFC thus far. We will see what Henry Cejudo can do here tonight, Joe. This guy is a ground and pound expert. Look for him to try to get this fight to the ground where he can land thunderous blows from the top position. the tape for this heavyweight fight. Elkins is three years his senior. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter for the professional record of 24 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at a Portage, Indiana, USA, Darren the Damage Elkins! And now the finishing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. Well, no shortage of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us as we get underway here at the O2 Arena in London, England. All right, ready to go here, round one. The boxing repertoire of Henry Cejudo has really improved leaps and bounds. This is a really clean, technical fighter who more often than not gets off to a good start. Didn't against Benavidez, figures to get off to a pretty good start tonight. Goes for a single. The first takedown attempt is there. Posture's up here. Nice punch to the body. Oh, big shot. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Elkins. Now into side control. Just over three minutes now to go. Take the back. Oh, that 
hammer fist attempt defended well. It's blocked. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's got a clinch. Double underhooks. Oh, nice sprawl to avoid the takedown attempt. Tosses him through the air. Beautiful duo throw. Moves into full mount. Awesome control from the top. Effective strike there by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's going after a submission here. Let's see if he can pull it off. That choke looks locked up tight. He's got that pretty good. That's pretty tight. And this might just be a matter of time. Excellent technique and getting that choke for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so he took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Henry, the messenger, to who? Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter share in the moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers.